to the channel for those who are new my name is Nisha and welcome to the channel I am going to be bringing you guys another banger for the 31 days of beauty and today we are using Jackie I know Jackie 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 yes we're using this beautiful palette that was collaborated with Jackiana and of course Anastasia. If y'all didn't get your hands on this palette, it's like, why? Why? <laughs> this palette, you can go with so many different ways with this palette. Every time I use it, I'm always thinking of like the next look to do using this palette. I already have a three-in-one um, video using this palette, so I would definitely link that in the video. If you guys want to check it out, it will be in the description box. But y'all know I'm going to be back in November again for some more looks using this palette. I really, really love this palette. It's really a beautiful range of colors that's going to complement the melanie complexion. Okay, so anywho, if you guys want to see how I got this look, then of course, keep on watching. Okay, so you already know the routine. Prepped and primed my eyes. Bra bone is put on underneath the eyebrows. So now we're gonna go into Miss Jackie I know. Yes, I miss her saying it a lot on her channel. All right, so I'm gonna go in with this beautiful deep purple. It's like my favorite shade that's in this palette. Cause y'all know me, I like me some color. You can see I'm using padded motions. Cause I really wanna build that color up before I go in and blend it out. Yeah. And now I'm gonna buff it out with this shade right here. It's a mixture of like a pink and a purple. I'm gonna take that and buff the deep part of this purple. Oh, that's such a pretty blend. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit more pink. So I wanna take this color right here and I'm just gonna slightly apply it towards the arch of my eyebrow. Just wanna add a little bit more touch of pink. I did go in with my Juvia Shade 2 and my Glam Light Caramel to achieve my cut crease. <laughs> And now for the lid. Um, this is where I, I really like struggle with on like color placement. Cause I'm like, uh, I'd be wanting to put like every color you could think of in the palette on my lid. But that's why I like to cut my crease cause you can actually do that. <laughs> I'm gonna start off with this shade right here. It's this pretty metallic color. And now I'm gonna go back in with that pretty pink shade. Really pretty now that it's gonna be patted on the lid instead of blended out. Going back in with this shade that I put in my crease. Pretty much they're gonna be reapplying the same colors, but they're gonna look different because from blending to patting, your eyeshadows look totally different. Just wanna put that out there. So now I'm going to pretty much put this one all over 
the crease, the remaining part of it. And then of course I'm gonna close it out with the beautiful deep purple. So once I have my placements together, I'm just gonna go back and reapply them to make sure that they're all blended out together. So now moving on to my face. I was already doing my steps, sorry, because I'm on my way to work. <laughs> and I was like, wait, I'm supposed to film this part. So I went in with my Perlis um, Matcha Green Tea. You already know this is my favorite forever. Coupon code down at the bottom if you guys want to check them out. And then for my primer, I went in with the Cover Fix Blurring Primer. Y'all, this gives them pores, some airbrush look. This is a really good primer that I've been really glued on and to cover up some of my dark spots as you guys can see yes went in with another perilous um, product this is the bb cream spf 30 this is the perfect glow um it's kind of like a cream foundation like a tinted foundation but the undertones are a little off so i can't wear it as a tinted but it's good to cover up the dark spots and it's good for another coverage for a foundation so again if you guys want to check perilous out coupon code is makeup go in with a little bit of derba blend and put that over my face to cancel out some of that oilness that i might get and y'all <laughs> should i dare i'm about to try juvia again because i can't find any other foundation that i want to try today because i gotta wear a mask all day so <laughs> um anastasia this is a really good coverage like a really good glow of a foundation but she does not work good with mask wearing. She does not. I learned that the hard way. So we're going to see if Juvia can handle it. And I was supposed to take this back. Yes, I was. I know. I said it and forgot. So, oh well. <laughs> I've been using it now. Second time. So we're going to give it another try. But this foundation is thicker than a snuckle. It is thick. You do not need that much. But that was just one little grab, so. And of course, it's a little bit lighter than my complexion. But we're gonna make this look like magic. Told y'all this, look, I haven't added any more product. A little, definitely goes a long way. I'm gonna get more of that airbrush look. I'm gonna take a beauty sponge. And just pretty much just press that foundation. Make sure that I've got every part of my face covered and make sure that it's like blended out. So, I only did this side. See how it looks already more smooth? This it looks more cakey in a sense. So I always recommend to go back in with this sponge and just press your foundation into that skin. All right, so now that I have that on, going in with my concealer and I'm going in with Dose of Colors concealer today. I'm gonna blend it out with my brush. And again, same method, I'm gonna use brush first. And then I'm gonna take a beauty sponge just to fully like give it that airbrush look. back in my um my lash i definitely want to not do purple for the bottom lash line because i feel like it's going to close it out and then it's going to be all dark looking and i just don't want it to be that dark for today so i think i'm going to go in with that pink shade i'm going to bring the pink shade down at the bottom and see how that looks so it's going to be this shade right here
I decided I need a little bit of the purple. I'm gonna put it in the outer part only though. So I'm gonna quickly set the rest of my face. Beauty Bakery for underneath the eye areas and then my Derma Blend for all over my face. I will go in with Black Radiant just to warm up my face, but y'all, y'all, y'all don't understand the frustration. <laughs> I spilled half of this damn container on my floor right in the beginning of me doing this tutorial. I was coughing and everything. I had to keep pausing the video. Y'all, I spilled half of the jar on my floor right now as I speak. And I can't even clean it up right now because I gotta go. But I do that, I don't know. I have a bad habit of not putting my caps back on, so it's all my fault. Nobody else to blame. And I just like to take a little little sponge applicator. I'm just gonna now blend Beauty Bakery out first before I go in with my other powder. Alright, it's nicely blended and now I'm going in with Derma Blend. I'm gonna mix it with a little bit of setting spray on the side. And do more coat of powder. I already know what I'm about to contour with. Yes, no other. Just to put warm back in my face because right now my face is looking real light skinned. <laughs> spray it one more time. So as that is setting on my face. We need some warmth definitely back into my complexion right now. I know y'all probably wanna know, girl, why are you doing a full face if you can wear a mask? Because you never know when you have to take it off. <laughs> never know when I have to take it off. And plus, I feel like since I've been working kind of like more often than usual, I feel like this is the only time I can actually film a video is when I'm getting ready for work. So if I don't do that, then I feel like y'all yeah, won't see videos from me because I wouldn't have time to film that often. Probably like, it will probably be like twice a week that I'll be able to film if I didn't film as I got ready for work, just saying. So that is another reason why I do a full face. Other than that, I think I just would do my eyes only and then go to work just like that. Because you only see the underneath my eyes and from here to here, you know? So, my makeup do last pretty good. It's just not good to leave it on, I say, after. And also, I'd be like getting some food and stuff after getting off of work, going to the drive-thru, and you know, not wearing my mask. So, that's another reason I'm like, look, I gotta put my mask. I do a full face. I don't know who gonna see it. The sponge was bought, um, purchased through Instagram. I seen a little um, like sponsor account. This works really good. I think I prefer it dry. It's like a micro, let me see. It's a micro fiber velvet sponge. And it's by the brand Juno and Company. I think I pronounced it correctly, but that sponge is like amazing and they had a good um, sale going on. Buy one, get the other one 50% off. So I got two of them and they work good. They blend, they're giving me my airbrush look. So it's really a good product look. So I was gonna go with a basic nude lip, but I'm like, nah, let's just do some color. <laughs> so I wanna go in with my Scorpio liner by um, Juvia. Of course, going in with my lip bar lipstick. This is in the shade Prom Queen. It really dries down to a really pretty color, so I'm gonna let that dry. And then I'm gonna move on to my cheeks. Equalize, I wanna go in with a light blush. Well, not really light, but something that's gonna be close to my contour. 
So I'm gonna go in with this color. I really didn't want a blush on today, but this blush color, it blends in with my contour. So it looks like I just have a heavy, deep contouring going on. So I'm just gonna pop that on the cheeks. Look at that. Oh yeah, it's giving me my Bambi look. See, it's, you can have a softer version if you don't want to do like blush, but then baby, this blush gives you that full on vampy fall vibes. Really, really pretty. All right, you guys, so this completes the look. Oh, I like it. <sighs> Love how this lip dried up. I'm not doing any necklace. I got all my stud earrings because I hate wearing my hoops when I wear my face mask to work. So yeah, this is the look. I hope you guys like it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Believe it or not, Jackie, I'm gave me my life again today. <laughs> Enjoy today's look. Please don't forget to thumbs up this video. And of course, leave me your feedback down at the bottom. And I really do hope you guys try this look out because I know all my sisters, <laughs> my Melanie complexions, I know y'all got this palette because it was like the best palette Anastasia made on top of Modern Renaissance. So these are my two favorite palettes from Anastasia. And I just love this look. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to thumbs up. Leave me your feedback down at the bottom. You guys have a beautiful day. Stay blessed. Stay amazing. And I'll see you guys all tomorrow.